Welcome back to my home, Cooks and Chef. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be celebrating Black History Month all month long. So we're going to be doing some black and some soul food dishes, you guys. So just today we're going to be doing some potato salad, you guys, the right way. The right way, you guys. So I will see you guys in the green. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you're not new, welcome in and enjoy this video. Guys, so like I said, you know, in the intro, we're gonna be celebrating Black History Month by doing soul food dishes. Now I like to do these dishes because this is my mom taught me, aunties, grandmothers, stuff like that. So we're gonna be doing the right way. I'm gonna show you the right way to do potato salad. You better not have no fruit in your potato salad. I'm just gonna say, don't put fruit. I better not see no raisins, no apples, no nuts in your potato salad because that is not potato salad. I'm just gonna warn you right now. This is the simplest, most easiest way. Do not make potato salad complicated. All right, you guys, so, you know, I got three eggs. It's going to be a small amount, uh, you know, three eggs, two large potatoes. These are Idaho potatoes, um, mustard, mayo, paprika for the end, and decorations, uh, chopped up uh, pickles and onions, you guys, with the seasoning that we add into it. So I have a little, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, Malaya salt, you know, Himalaya salt and pepper. You know so That's all you need. Do not make this complicated. You know what I'm saying? Don't make me come for you. All right, now. You know what I'm saying? This is Black History Month. You better do it right. All right, so we're going to get ready to chop up these uh, uh, potatoes and get ready to boil them up, and then we're going to mix everything up. All right, so guys. All right, so we got it peeled. Uh, what I did was uh, the, the water is being boiled right now, you know, so I'm just going to chop these up. Let me know, did you chop yours up? Do you leave them whole? How do you uh, prepare your uh, potatoes when you get ready to boil them? I like to chop them up. You know, uh, so I don't have to be, you know, that's one less thing I have to do. So let me finish chopping these up, cube them up, and I'm about to throw them in the water. And we're going to write assemble these uh, potato salad. The reason why, you know, I chop mine up in cubes is because, you know, my mom told me that this was the fastest way to do it because you wouldn't have to, um, when you assemble them, it doesn't take so long. And they don't take that long to cook, too. When actually the whole potato, it takes longer. So, you know, cut them down to these cube size. You know what I'm saying? Where you can get to uh, um, cutting up your, I mean, get to your potato salad a lot faster. So I'm about to get ready to throw all this in the water. It should be done. Make them, make sure you have them, you know, even size so they all can cook around the same temperature. I mean, same time. Finish up being tender about the same time. So let me go in there and I'm going to cook this and make sure you put. I like to flavor my water. Like I said, flavor is your friend. So I actually add a little uh, ch uh, chicken bouillon flavor or ch boiling in chicken broth. So I'm going to be boiling in chicken broth right now. Now that your, you know, uh, potatoes have been uh, finished cooking, put, make sure you shock them in cold water. Do not try to put uh, the mayo and the mustard on when it's hot. So cool your uh, potatoes down so they don't continuously cook. So if you ever had some mushed up potato salad, it looked like mashed potato potato salad because they mixed everything in there hot. That is not how you do potato salad. So, all right. So I'm going to finish uh, uh, cooling the potato, potato salad, uh, potatoes down to finish up the potato salad. All right, so this is how you know when your potatoes are done. Uh, but it's for tender, but you don't want it where it's falling apart or becoming mushy. Where it holds its shape is what you're looking for. All right, and that's the reason why I said run it under cold water so we can cool it down so it won't keep cooking because it will continuously keep cooking. All right, so we're going to transfer everything over into the uh, pot, right, I mean the bowl to get ready to do all the mixing. I'm going to get ready to do that right now. All right. Now, you might have a couple of pieces that might be, you know, uh, uh, mushy, but that's okay. It's potato salad. You can't expect it to be perfect, but you definitely can expect it to, you know, everything to cook, you know, I mean, be put together for just right. So what you want to do it first is add in your eggs. So I did chop up some eggs. I had a little chopper. So these are about three eggs. That's all you need with those uh, two large uh, potatoes. Now you can do more if you're an egg person, like to do anything. Uh, you can do about uh, what about three tablespoons of onions. Three tablespoons of onions. Uh, half a pickle chopped up. If you don't like the pickle, you can leave it out. 
to pour out the juice. You don't want it too watery from the pickle. All right, put the pickle in. Mama, I hope I did you proud. You know what I'm saying? Your son hook it up your potato salad. Um, you can actually season it now before you start mixing it. So I'm just going to season a little black pepper, you know, in it to do a little mix before I mix it in. And a little pink Himalaya salt, you guys. Now you can salt, you can uh, season it to taste, but you don't need too much. So that's about three, three little pinches of potatoes, I mean, of the salt. Next, you want to add in your mayo. So, about half a cup, a tablespoon, I mean, you know, half a cup of uh, mayo. Now, some people like Miracle Whip, I don't like my potato salad sweet, so this is not about to be no sweet potato salad. Just gonna let you know about that. And add, you know, to your liking, mustard. Now, I don't like a lot of mustard in there, you know, but probably three or four tablespoons of mustard. And just get to mixing in, guys. And I know I need to add some more mayo because I ran out of that mayo and stuff like that. Yeah. Good enough. Mayo. Let's mix everything in. Hurt you guys. Now I can't say. I'm gonna be honest with you. These potatoes were overcooked. You know, so normally they would be a lot more tender than this. So a little disappointing in it. You know, what I'm saying it's still gonna come out good, but you know, I don't ever make my potato salad. So next time I have to check my potato salad myself to make sure it's done right. So this one, this is now. I'm just gonna be honest with you. This is not how it's supposed to be. But, you know what I'm saying, we're going to work with it. It's easy right, to work guys, with so, it. you know, I doctored up the best I can, you know what I'm saying, because uh, we don't waste food up in here. Uh, you know, it came out, you know, pretty okay. I just took the, you know, some of the loose parts out of the potato salad. But you guys uh, definitely check on the potato salad because that's what I was saying. It can overcook. You know, uh, it's still, you know, I still was able to save it, you know what I'm saying. But um, make sure you, you know what I'm saying, keep checking on your potatoes because sometimes they can actually overcook on you even though you know you probably did as many as many different times but you know say it did come out well it came out okay it wasn't my uh best i'm gonna be honest with you but you know so i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you made this similar mistakes but you know saying I, I really it's not a mistake but it is at the same time but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video um you know if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe you guys you know uh and for those that are not new welcome on and thanks for coming you know, tuning in but let me know you know say your tricks of the trade how you do your potato salad you know, but this is one quick way to do it, but I'm just going to let you know, do not put no fruits in your potato salad. I'm just telling you like that. You're going to be not invited to the family reunion. You're actually going to be kicked out and laughed at and thrown in the trash. So if you're wondering why somebody does not eat your potato salad at a family reunion or barbecue and it's still sitting there, you did something wrong. So everybody's going to avoid it. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next dish.